Well, hello. I know it's late. I know it's now Tuesday. Um, well, Wednesday for me in England, but it's it's kind of Tuesday for you guys in America. <clears throat> and it's October the 11th. So these astrology readings are supposed to start from the 9th. Okay, but um, that's the way it is today, this week. It's been busy. I've been having, you know, grandkids day and, and things like that and um, busy sorting out this place ready for my love coming over here and um, greg who's going to be here at the end of um october so um so obviously you know girls i mean guys don't get it but well actually he did because when i was going to be coming over there he was busy sorting out um and wanting it to be just right i mean you know we don't live in palaces so we don't expect it to be absolutely but as long as it's tidy to be to begin with <laughs> it's kind of you know what it's like after that it's like lived in and it's okay to to be lived in yeah so anyway we've just done the um global predictions over on rumble um and before that on youtube so <clears throat> it's been a bit busy today but um i did want to let you guys down with the astrology so i thought well i'll do a little video i'll do a little video and um at least it's just a little something yeah so here we go so obviously if i was doing a live i would be saying to everybody what is your sun moon rising and then i would calculate and see who's in the chat and you know um what's the majority of birth signs in there yeah but um obviously we're not doing that so i've got the next best thing so i thought i would use these cards these cards are from a deck called there we go <clears throat> it's called the um barbarai um zodiac oracle okay so yeah so artwork by pa pa palo paolo barbario so yeah anyway i can't pronounce the names um but anyway it's those and they're just kind of just um, just general um, astrology cards and uh, they're, they're quite nice they're quite nice for a, for a little deck if you know your astrology um, I think you'd love them because they've got kind of the um, the planets in there as well okay so so yeah so I've got these here so we've got earth water air and fire so I'm going to leave it up to chance okay so this is the choices that we have so let me see closing my eyes the first one will be this one, which will be fire signs. Okay, so it'll be fire signs. Then it will be this one, earth signs. Then it will be water signs. And then obviously it will be air signs. Okay. So that's the order. So let me write these down to make sure that I've got it. So fire signs. So we will have Leo, Sagittarius, and then Aries. Then earth signs. We will have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Then water signs which is scorpio pisces and cancerians we don't do the other word we just do cancerians and then we'll finish on the air signs which is aquarius um i've gone blank aquarius gemini and then libra that's the order okay so now we know now we know all right and obviously i'll try and do the timestamps as well um i did the timestamps the last um the last recording but it didn't let me add it and i kept trying to go back in there if you're not very kind of okay and understanding of you know youtube and making videos and things it's not as easy as just adding it in there you've got to find a way of yeah anyway i, I got confused i managed it in the end i think but uh so yeah that's <laughs> just uh 
I, I try. I do try. I do. So um, if you hear in the ticky, ticky, ticky thing, I can't hear at my end. But if you do, it is my fan, OK, on my computer. And every now and again, it just goes a bit blinky, blinky. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just needs fixing, I think. So fire signs. Let's have a look at fire signs. So I'm going to start off with, I'm just going to pick one of these lovely cards. I'm just trying different cards out, really. These are called the Whispers of Love. The Whispers of Love. And these are by Angela Hartfield. Yeah, the Whispers of Love. Angela Hartfield. Okay, so let's have, pick one of these to start off with. Um, and give give you those every single reading. So we're going to go straight on to the Leo. There we are. So this is for Leos. So let's do the timestamp, which is six oh nine. Six oh nine. Right. So we're going to start with this. I'm going to close my eyes and link in with Leo's now. This is all about love, life, or love for family and friends, okay? Um, so this says, focus on love. Look for good in everything. See if you can. Okay, so they're quite, quite good little cards. So, you know, you've got a choice every time to... Maybe see things in a loving way and in a um, looking through spiritual eyes, or you can look at it in a critical 3D way. Um, and that's every single situation that you bump into in life. And um, that is your choice. And uh, I think that's what it's saying. It's like saying, you know, I mean, I can see actually just looking into this card. There's a little tiny dragon there. Look, little tiny one. So she's looking at this perhaps reunion, this kind of connection between this kind of dragon and the little baby. So focus on love. Yeah, focus on love. So see if you can have a go at that um, this week, Leos, you know, instead of thinking the worst situation, the worst thing, think about um, the other. Yeah, so have a look um so let's see i'm building up the energy so these readings are from the 9th through to the 15th of october the strength card okay this to me says that there is a need to have more um power um to understand your power to link in with your power now um if you are still unsure about about that, then I'm going to give you a little technique um, that I did on this lady um, that I did a reading for. She said that she felt as if she had lost part of her power. She'd lost it. Somebody had taken it from her. But the opposite, the other thing is, it's like she let them have it. And I know that's hard to hard to hard to see because sometimes it's like, no, no, that person definitely. It's like. Um, once we have our power and we're sitting in our power, there's no way that somebody can take it, okay? Because deep down inside, you might have to put your your power on the back burner because um, it's not time to react, okay? But later on, it will be. Later on, you'll be able to, you know, find that strength of character. But I think they're asking you to kind of go back. So visualize now with me, okay? Let's visualize. Deep breath. Okay, so we're now centered. So we're sitting inside of our protective bubble. Okay, this bubble, you need to be visualizing this bu bubble as soon as you wake up in the morning and as soon as you go to bed. Okay, so and this bubble is around you. It's flexible. So, you know, you can hug somebody, you can be in their company. You know, you can do all those things with somebody, but it's not going to um, affect you. OK, so with this bubble protection. OK, so what we're going to do is visualize that 
symbolically, if there is somebody who you feel might have disturbed your power, what we're going to do is visualize that person in front of us. And we're going to visualize that energy coming back into us. It's only a visualization because the power was never theirs anyway. Okay, this was yours. Okay, but just for visual sake, we're just going to pull it towards us because now you've got the realization I am powerful and I can kick ass if I want to. That doesn't mean in a physical way, this means in a in a powerful kind of strength okay so i feel as if we needed to see that card really as it is and obviously we've got the lion um which is leo as well um the ten of pentacles do you deserve money do you deserve abundance if there's any doubt that came into your mind just then i want you to pull it out as a root and say no i'm gonna i'm not taking money from anybody else as in demanding it, what I'm doing is saying, I do deserve it. Yeah, I do. And I bring it in to you. So expect random acts of kindness now coming your way. Feel it, appreciate it, and give out to anyone that you come into contact with unconditionally. Give it out to other people. And, and you will see it come back to you in other ways. And I've got to say, I'm so grateful to people who have done that for me. Absolutely grateful. So it does work. It's like, you know, just get into the habit of always giving, not expecting, just always giving. Because money's coming, Leo's, money's coming. And then we've got the, the magician. Um, and this, this, you've got uh, two major arcana cards there. So the magician is saying that you are that you have the ability to do anything you want. So what is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to um, want to experience in your life? You know, um, perhaps you want to start a new business or perhaps you want to start that hobby, you know, in which case, that you know, let's go for it. Let's start the process. So if that feels as if it's quite daunting, then do it in baby steps. So first of all, you could maybe look up and see if that, you know, where to where to get training for to do that thing, where you can get inspiration for, for your ambition or your project. If you want a new job, see what's out there. Have a look and see what other people are doing. Um, start looking at on kind of like jobs and things, yeah? And, and then the next stage is then, getting your CV ready or getting money together so that you can go shopping to get the bits required for your for your um, plan. You know, steps, steps. Um, but the worst thing you can do is to do nothing, okay? That's the beginning of the week. The middle of the week, the devil. This can be mischievous beha behavior. The Ten of Wands, which is feeling held back. And then we have the princess of swords, which is somebody who can be judgmental or can judge before they know the situation. So there is going to be a situation where you feel as if somebody is acting in a very negative behavior, maybe to you towards you. Maybe you're then acting in a in a negative behavior back at them. Um, what that energy is going to do when two people are doing it, it's going to project out there and then come back at you. Um, and so sometimes two of those negative um, energies is, is just not a good combination. So I do believe it's like, you know, you might feel stuck, but you're going to feel a lot more stuck if you keep pushing out there, like the victim energy, or you're pushing out there that uh, feeling of it not being in power. OK, so so, yeah, that's um, so it's going to be a bit of a test. You found your power. But are you going to keep it? Are you going to use it? Do you know what you're doing? So this is the feisty kind of warrior person. OK, energy. The seven of swords, which is maybe somebody battling with, I don't know, um, 
health or someone battling with their um, emotional life, you know, um, they're feeling as if they need to be protected, they need to feel loved, they need to feel cherished, and they're feeling a bit, bit vulnerable. But we do have that feisty energy come in. So, you know, this means that sometimes we can um, feel a bit vulnerable, but then somebody comes back into our life or we have um, a nice kind of message out the blue from somebody that we haven't seen for a long time. We haven't heard from in a long time, but it, they, these are good cards. So this isn't somebody, this isn't somebody you don't want. This is somebody that you do want, and you will be feeling very, very happy. So yeah, um, get out your va va voom energy. Okay, don't feel sorry for yourself anymore. It's time. It's not time. It's not time to be the victim. It really isn't. It's time to go. Do you know what? I know what I'm doing. Okay, and this is feeling very. It's like vibrant, um, thinking about the past in a good way, um, you know, reminiscing about things. This could be a family member. This could be, you know, somebody from school or somebody you used to work with, maybe, you know, somebody who was your neighbor way back, you know, something nice is going to be happening by the end of the week. Um, but sometimes we need to, you know, take care of ourselves and then we feel more energized to move forward. Yeah. So there you go. That's what I see for Leos. Okay, so we're going to move on now to Sagittarius. Okay, so I'm going to pause while I get stuff ready for Sagittarius. Okay, so for Sagittarius, um, this is the 9th through to the 15th of October. So I'm saying that for my spirit guides. Okay. So let's have a look. Whispers of love. Okay. Let's see what they want to say to you. Okay. This is honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. Okay. Let's show you this. Sorry. Okay. So there's somebody there in the picture who is masked. And the other person has got a back to him. Okay. And it's like nobody really knows what to say or do. Because if everybody's feeling guarded, it's like, what can anybody do? So, so sometimes there has to be, you know, taking that risk and being honest. Um, that's a flower. That's a red flower that that uh, man is giving that lady. Um, and she's just about to turn around to see what it is that uh, he's offering, okay? So, yeah, I feel as if there's going to be a, a really nice, kind gesture coming your way um, from somebody who's a complete stranger, somebody who you don't know, okay? So watch out for that. Um, you know, sometimes that's a nice thing. Sometimes you really don't want it. Um, but you could actually take it as, you know what? This is this is a compliment. OK, this is a compliment. All right. So Sagittarius. I've got Sagittarius moon. So I've got Sagittarius moon. So ninth through to the 15th. OK, concentrating now. There it is. Okay, so there's been a, a strange feeling of feeling a little bit held back, okay, uh, or holding yourself back. Um, there's been obstacles around you in perhaps one area of your life, not all, but one area of your life. Um, you're fe feeling as if there is a brightness and, and, a, and a sunshine energy that is actually transmitting from you now. Um, and you feel as if there has been a definite ending to that and a beginning of the new. Um, this is a good feeling. It, it feels as though, you know, the the wait is over and here it goes. There is a lot more time now um, for you to shine your light, for you to have new opportunities, for you to be able to, you know, um, lift up your wings and get some 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 um, energy going. So, yeah, I feel as if there's um, a lot of kind of very powerful energy. And with that, I saw the 
um, the nine of uh, wands, which is, you know, things have been held back. There's been a frustration here. My nine of wands is like I'm nearly there, but then there's that last obstacle and I've got to keep going and keep going because if I do, then I'm going to get past that obstacle and I'm home dry. Okay, so you're nearly, nearly there. The sunshine just felt, made that card feel very, very positive. Sunshine, happiness and brightness. And then you have the new beginnings card, um, which is the, um, that's the end of that. And that's the beginning of the next bit. So new phase is coming. So it's time to get excited. Okay, beginning of the week. By the middle of the week, now the middle of the week, um, we've got this, it's like a feeling of, well, yeah, I've got what I wanted, but do I really want that? Is it actually what I wanted? Or am I kind of fooling myself? a bit I've, i can see a new job or an offer of a new job offer of new money and i'm feeling as though with my perfection energy it's not what i expected there's a little bit of um disruption and disappointment i'm seeing around you um there's a it's like i'm i now feel as if i've got to go back to the drawing board and start to reinvent what it is that i want because what I thought I wanted, it's just not right. But there is new money, okay? So it's not all bad. There seems to be new money, new energy coming in. So yeah, it's like, what do we do now? Okay, it's like a bit of a, a chess game. What I saw with this is my princess of swords, which is my, um, I'm a perfectionist. I want everything to be my way. We've got the, which I spoke about actually, we've got the 10 of wands which is i've got everything but maybe i've taken on too much maybe i'm feeling a bit overwhelmed by what i've taken on and this could be about a job or a money making scheme or a, or something that you've decided that you've said yes to i've committed to it so it doesn't have to be a monetary thing but you've committed to something and you're thinking what have i done i don't think i can do this justice i feel a bit overwhelmed it's the middle of the week by the end of the week End of the week, I'm seeing a bit of um, self-employment energy around you. Um, and there's a really good feeling. So within this reading, Sagittarius, we have the sun and the and the um, world, two of the best cards in the deck. And you have those. So it is the deal with it card. This is like, like saying, well, just get on with it. Stop talking about doing it and just get on with it. And sometimes we need to dive straight in and not hang about you know, not delay, okay, this is not the time to delay, especially with these cards here, so that is my Capricorn energy, it's it's the, um, it's the card that says I, I'm going to do it myself, um, I'm not going to wait for someone else to come and rescue me, I'm going to do this myself, and the world card says yep, and it will be very positive, it will be very successful, because the world card is a hell yeah, um, it's basically saying, yes, it will all happen even better than you realized. And then that's the deal with it. Go to the heart of the matter and deal with it. OK, so it's not going to happen unless you deal with it, though. OK, so it's not a time to hang about. It's definitely doing weak for you, Sagittarius, really. OK, so there you go. That's what I see there for Sagittarius. Sagittarius okay so what do these cards whispers of love what do they want to say to you okay so this is treasure your loved ones it is very important to love others deeply okay so let me show you the card Okay, so from the top there, so it's like they're cupped in, in the hands of love and they're, that to me is like looking into memories of the past and like looking at all that those memories that you want to cherish, those memories that you can't replace with, you know, with new ones because they are theirs, they're there for, they're there for you to enjoy and to remember each person in in your family um, that can be your spiritual family sometimes we don't choose our family um, but we choose our spiritual family 
Um, so these can be friendships. These can be people who you respect and love. And it's like, it's time to say, I appreciate you. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you. I appreciate your energy. So, okay. So prediction for that is, I feel as if there's going to be a moment, a very special moment um, that you're going to have. Um, and this is with somebody who you feel as if you've been a little bit um, distant from, you've been kind of busy, they've been busy. And then there's going to be just that moment when your eyes are going to lock or you're going to be on the phone with them. And there's that lovely rush of love, rush of energy, um, maybe talking about the past or something as well. Okay, so my camera's gone a little bit blurry. <laughs> oh, that doesn't help really at all. Okay, so let's see if I can get it back here. <laughs> all right, I've got ink on my finger. Okay, so let's see what they want to say. That one wanted to jump out, so I'm going to let it. Right. So there's going to be a lot of travel. OK, this feels as if like it's a long distance or you're getting ready to travel. It can be that you've got to get your car or, you know, transport arrangements sorted out. Um, sometimes that can mean buying a ticket and um, getting ready to go on that trip or that holiday vacation. Um, sometimes that means there might be something that you've got to do an errand. Um, or you've got to, you know, take somebody or get ready for something because it feels as if I'm getting very organized. Um, I'm also seeing that sometimes we have, are going to take a leap uh, within our ambitions, within the things that we want to achieve in our lives. Um, so this is going to be a fast pace, like a rush, OK, that is going to be emerging and happening. OK, the strength card. So to me, the strength card in this in this instance is, you know, find the strength to actually do what it is that, you know, you're supposed to do. Um, this is the time. This this is it. Um, so it's like, um, you know, if you felt as if, you know, you were kind of using an excuse why you're not edging your way forward or completing that task or putting your name down for that um, workshop or you know, saying yes to um, that party or yes to that lunch out with people. And it's like, I am I know I'm delaying. I know I'm kind of procrastinating. And it's like, I'm getting on my own nerves now. I just need to say yes. So this is going to be one of those times, okay, that you're just going to go, yep, I'm going to do it. So instead of saying no, which is the usual, you're going to say yes, yes, I will. Okay. Um, because this is like, like this is the thing that is going to catapult you to achieving so much more than you thought you were going to. OK, you thought that, oh, that's not me anymore or I'm past that or, you know, I can't for whatever reason it is. The strength is going to build up inside you and you're going to be. Yes, I'm seeing um, a new business idea that is going to be really revving up inside you as well. Um, this business idea, it could be linking to maybe a change of job in your future, um, finding out whether or not there's a job that actually does that. It's like, well, this is the th sort of thing I love. Is there a job that I can do? OK, with that. Um, so that is the eight of wands. Go, go, go. This is the strength card which is having strength and courage. And then we've got that focusing on what it is you want and moving in that direction, getting yourself aligned to it. Okay, so it's hard to say no. It's, and then we have this card that flicked out, which is my Capricorn card, which is, which is my, um, you know, making a business or, you know, I can do this myself. Okay, so we've got new ideas coming in. Okay, then the middle of the week new ideas and I feel as if it's like I want to start some projects in the house um maybe I want to finish off doing you know those jobs that I started maybe I want to just start from fresh again so although I've got halfway through I just don't like it anymore it's just not me it's been that long since I started that project that actually I think I'm just going to get a whole new color scheme 
um i'm gonna i'm gonna do it um so i feel as if somebody was decorating and they started painting the walls or doing something to the walls and then they run out of pain or they run out of enthusiasm and then kind of a few months later it still hasn't been done or whatever time later and then looking at it and they're going that's not me anymore the reason why i haven't completed it is because i didn't like it so i don't care that it's going to cost me more money i want to love what i'm doing so this is this is it so this is starting and starting afresh starting anew with a new idea um i then feel as if i'm getting some other jobs done so from one thing getting that done is rolling on into another one and as you're doing that you're going oh i'm really enjoying this i want to do something else so um, there's jobs like that it's like physical jobs but I'm also seeing the sorting out and rearranging kind of um, clothes and rearranging shoes and rearranging you know um, I don't know drawers and cupboards so I'm seeing a lot of that energy of, uh, of changes with lots of more ideas coming in and um, that you're going to be fired up about this week by the end of the week now the end of the week is not so fabulous because i feel as though i'm kind of just isolating myself a little bit and maybe i'm taking it everything's too seriously um maybe i just need a good laugh um being around other people of like mind um is exactly what i need to do and somehow i'm gonna do this for that for myself so I'm tippy towing around a person who I used to get on with. Um, we used to communicate well. We used to have lots of giggles. But at the moment, we're just not getting on. Um, and I feel as though I'm kind of stuck um, away from them. And I don't know how to break down the barrier. Um, but I do feel as if there's going to be some sort of memory or something that will happen that will go, that will lead you to that. Oh, wow. OK. Um, now, that was funny. Yes, that was funny. That did make me laugh. So, yeah, um, and that's both of you. There you go. So that's what I see for Aries. Okay, so this is for Taurus. Okay, so we're doing the Earth signs now. So we're going to be doing Taurus, then Virgo, then Capricorn. After that, we'll be doing the water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancerians. And then we'll do the air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Okay, so um, I've just been buying some little cards. Okay, so this is called Shine. Although you can't see it, <laughs> but these are called Shine. They're kind of inspirational cards, really, um, which I thought was very, very sweet. So I'm loving these. So anyway, we're going to start with one of these each for Taurus. So just uh, going to tune in so just for my guides oh so really busy so <laughs> um so yeah this is for the 9th through to the 15th of october well wow. okay calm down cards i'm doing it taurus it says breathe in bliss exhale bull beep there you go that's what this is i actually didn't know there was swearing cards but uh, anyway gets the point across i think okay so it doesn't look like it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna focus but yeah they're quite simple cards okay so sometimes it is like you know if you feel as if someone's getting on your nerves you know you're like oh i, I just can't be doing with their beep um, then sometimes we just go, I'm just going to withdraw back into my energy, take a deep breath and let it go. None of it matters, really. It really doesn't matter in the scheme of things. OK, and sometimes we need to keep telling ourselves that. What does it matter if I am triggered by that? Is it going to upset me? Is it going to upset them? If I if I let let off, you know, if I if I start to tell them off, if I start to tell them what I think of them or, you know, call them out on their energy, what is it going to matter? OK, so let's have a little look on then Taurus. OK, so this week there's going to be a time where you're going to choose whether or not to be triggered and let it out or whether or not you're just going to say, oh, can't be doing. Nope, 
it's not worth my energy. So. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Okay, so it starts out a little bit kind of like that. <laughs> You've got to decide whether you're going to get triggered by whatever's going on um, or you're going to kind of just let that go. Now, there is a technique that you can do. So if somebody's made you instantly angry, you can. So visualize your solar plexus, which is just above your navel, just, just by your breast bone and it's just in the middle there um, so that is your um, solar plexus area so what I want you to do is to visualize that there is roots um, that are um, inside there that need pulling out so that those roots represent at this time that irritant that's something that is upsetting you so we're going to pull it out pull it out pull it out and we're seeing all the roots come out and we're holding it like this and then it it goes into a balloon we then visualize it as a balloon with the string and you just let the string go you're visualizing the balloon going up up further up further and then it just just goes and by the time you've actually seen it go you're actually for the few seconds you are then going what was i angry about what was i upset about i can't remember honest to god it works it really works OK, so there is something that is going to be a little bit up there. OK, um, it, it may actually go deep within if you let it. But you're not going to let it, are you, Taurus? Because you are going to say, you know what? I don't want to. I don't want to play those games. I don't want to be in that energy. OK, I choose not to. OK, so sometimes that might mean that you have to drift away from a certain person because maybe this isn't the first time that that person has triggered you. Um, maybe just the fact that they just maybe they do know that it triggers you and maybe they're kind of like um, it makes them feel better for some reason because some people are like that um, they like to upset people um, whereas you it's like do you know what I'm done I'm done so you know drifting away from somebody is definitely going to be um, on the cards so to speak um, at the beginning of the week doesn't have to be permanent but it's just going to make you feel a little bit more, you know, I'm back in control of my emotions. I'm not going to let someone else steal my emotions. By the middle of the week, you've definitely taken charge of those emotions. It's definitely, I've got my wall up um, regarding that person or that situation um, until it really doesn't bother you anymore. Um, so the wall has to stay up until then, okay? That wall can be, you know, like, um, like your strength, okay? So... And then I'm seeing that this is going to open up new doors. The so new doors are going to start to open up around the middle of next week for Taurus. Um, and I'm seeing it's just going to be fast paced, fast, fast, fast paced. And I, I'm seeing, you know, there being excitement and it's like, I've got to get organized. What am I going to do? I've got to get organized. So I'm seeing a bit of busyness and, you know, you're not quite ready. You're not quite organized. Um, I'm standing my ground, though. I'm going to do this, but I'm not doing that. So I feel as if you're negotiating maybe some plans, um, so organization. You're kind of planning. You're getting involved, but only on your terms. So I feel as if there's something to do with a trip or, you know, a social event, okay, that you're going to be organizing or doing going, okay? So that is the middle of the week, okay? So mold it around what makes you comfortable that's the idea okay so by the end of the week end of the week i feel as if your emotions are quite childlike at this time and you're feeling that energy of you know um i need a fatherly figure or i need um somebody who i can lean on somebody who is going to be um by my side is going to be um, there for me in every way possible and I feel as if I need that kind of um, the masculine as well as the feminine. So, um, so yeah, th because this is new to you, there seems to be starting of a new job or starting on a new road, okay? We have the two of pentacles. And that is always, you can see he looks a bit nervous, okay? So he's a little bit nervous. 
but he's stepping forward onto new ground and you know it is scary times so this is a new beginning um for you and uh you know so if you aren't feeling as though there is anybody around you who you can lean on then call in your spiritual team okay so it's like i call in my fatherly character you know and i call in my my motherly character and I am embracing them inside, okay? I'm feeling their energy deep within my soul and I know that they're gonna be with me. Okay, so um, that way you're just going to shine your light. You're gonna be amazing, okay? So there you go. That's what I see coming up for Taurus. Um, okay, so there goes let's see what's happening so here's your card from the shine deck this is it it says nourish your body with high vibing energy so this may be a time if you're having the craving for fruit if you're having the craving for whatever you want you know your body is telling you and so, you know, sometimes it is about, you know, really picking up on, you know, your, it's like um, confidence about yourself, okay, your self image. And I know that that's difficult for some, it's difficult for me sometimes, it's like with my with my jelly belly and my, my wobbly bum and, you know, things like that, it's like sometimes you just you know, you have to say, do you know what? I am what I am. I am the person that I am. And I'm shining that out there. And whatever happens, happens, because this is me. Um, sometimes we, we need to do that. And we need to center ourselves and, and believe in that. Okay, so, but you may have the urge to try something different on the food and drink um, um, variety. You're going to try something different. Okay, so let's have a look at the week for you okay so i'm building up the energy um for this next week please um comment um on this video i would really appreciate it and if you can to share it as well that would be amazing and subscribe as well forgot that i only need a, a few about i don't know 80 more i think and then i've hit, hit my thousand and i would just really appreciate that so walking on eggshells around a certain person or a certain situation that kind of makes you feel as though have we been doing this kind of dance around each other for too long now you know uh one minute we're getting on next minute we've we get to this stage and you know, I don't, I, I can't stand to be around you. You can't stand to be around me. And then we make it up and it's all great. And then, um, you know, a couple of weeks later, we go through this process again. And it seems to be either a regular month or six week thing. And it's like, if that is the case, um, sometimes there needs to be a change. Otherwise, this is going to continue for um, years ahead, you know. Um, and sometimes it's like, is there something better for me? out there rather than doing this dance around each other you know because if somebody is upsetting you to the fact that you feel like this if they're upsetting you and it's the same thing then they're not listening to you are they they're not listening to the fact that whatever you're whatever they're doing is upsetting you then you need to ask yourself is it unreasonable of me to ask this of them is this actually am i asking them to to change their personality if so that's difficult um because you know how when we fall in love with somebody or when we accept somebody as a friend or you know of that family member who is who they are when we do that we have we have to take them with that quirky part of them okay and we have to love it and we have to accept it but if there's something that is deliberately hurtful and it, it pains us and, you know, and it isn't unreasonable to ask them not to do it. And it keeps happening over and over and over again. Um, then you have to ask yourself, this person, would they honestly do this to somebody that they loved? Really? Would they? Because if they did love that person and it was hurting them, 
they shouldn't get joy out of that they shouldn't get because you wouldn't have you wouldn't get joy out of hurting them and so sometimes i feel as if there's some realizations that's going to be happening i feel around virgos okay and then you're going to start to look at your future and say you know what are my alternatives right now do i have any other choices that doesn't mean to fall you know if you're in a relation, relationship and there's been this ongoing kind of you know battle between the two of you and um, that you're just looking for somebody to rush into their arms and um to be with them you know um maybe that is the case but um sometimes it can be more like i'm choosing me and we always think that we always think we forget about me we forget about that in between of being maybe single for a little while maybe we don't have to you know break free completely but maybe we don't have to live with that person so we're not with them 24 7 you know um and maybe that sometimes actually works better. Who knows? But I do think you're going to be giving it some very good thought um, thoughts here. OK, um, sometimes it's just a matter of communication. Sometimes it's like, do you realize that we keep doing this? And it's like, no, I didn't realize, actually. But now you're saying it. Yes, I do realize. Why are we doing that with each other? What, what, what good is that doing? So is there something in in each other's lives that is causing this disharmony or disruption and if the case is yes then it can be an easy fix you know sometimes we're not busy enough in our lives that we then scratch away and poke and prod um in in what we do have which is a relationship sometimes and so i really feel it's a big thing um and i've got to say right in the beginning of this video um that what i always say in every video that my guides deliberately put in um messages that if you are if you happen to be watching this and say you're not a virgo there will be something within this video that will be for you okay it will be directly for you okay so don't feel as if you know this isn't relating to you because um you're not a virgo okay so yeah there's going to be some changes i feel as if there's going to be a shift in your um knowledge in your energy and the realization of patterns um in our life good patterns not good patterns all of that okay um i'm seeing some keys i'm seeing keys opening new doors so for some people i feel as if there may be a new property that is being um purchased um or you know i'm seeing maybe a holiday where you need keys to get in okay or you know a way to enter this new property maybe a business um i'm also seeing that emotionally i'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed by my emotions and i don't want any more arguments i don't want any more disruption i just want to enjoy the moment there's also the realization that sometimes we are more secure um, to be in a relationship than we are to be single. And sometimes that is a scary, um, scary proposition. So in that case, sometimes we have to say, well, you know what? Um, I haven't really got another option right now, but I could play the long game. Um, and maybe I can try and make myself as happy as I can possibly be by creating friendships around me, by creating a job that I absolutely love, by a hobby that I just I just adore. Um, anything that is going to boost your confidence and make you feel wonderful. You never know. This might trigger your partner or your friend or your um, family member. Um, to actually start to do the same you, you might inspire them and they might become very much more happier and it could resolve the problem okay so watch out for that and um, by the end of the week the end of the week there's going to oh my god sorry i'm taken aback by these cards mm, these three cards that come up together uh, and I only usually say this when I'm in the um, when we're in the advanced tarot group. When I'm in the advanced tarot group and these three cards come up together, they usually mean a windfall, like change of life windfall. Destiny change is a very big cards, very good cards, very big cards. Okay, 
like massive okay now whether or not we're talking about a global thing here or whether or not we're just talking about virgos i don't know okay all i know is these three cards are pretty awesome okay so the first card ten of pentacles large amount of money or security the second card new beginnings end of one way of life beginning of another transition out with the old in with the new you're getting my driftwood here and then you have the world card the world card says something amazing is happening change of life this will never be the same again this is a change of life money experience something massive wow wow is all i've got to say about that that's the end of the end of the week for virgos i'm going to be after talking about this um next time i do lives anytime um because these three cards together i think it's only ever happened twice other than in in my in my career reading cards that have spanned over 30 35 years i've been reading cards and that is what i get it's like my god okay that's taking me back a bit i don't know what to say so anyway yeah brilliant um i hope it is a windfall for you um i also hope it might be a windfall for the globe um you know new monetary system may be coming in okay so yeah brilliant <laughs> so there you go this is a uh, for virgos okay so this is capricorn okay so let's have a look and see what they want to say to capricorns my guys okay <laughs> embrace your inner divine goddess or god uh depending okay so sometimes we've got a it's like we've got to realize that there is somebody for everybody out there okay so sometimes we might feel as if we're not attractive we might feel as if you know who's going to be interested in me i know that that's what i was feeling and it's like who's going to be interested in me what's going on you know and then all of a sudden it's it comes into your heart and you go do you know what there will be somebody who will who will love me for me who will love me for for everything all my quirky things all my you know my wobbly bits but everything and i feel that this is the this is that why this card has come out this week so capricorns or whoever is watching this bring out your inner goddess or your inner god energy okay bring out that energy and strut your stuff okay um, have a bit of confidence this week. Just try and be a little bit more kind of um, cheeky, a little bit more uh, spontaneous. You know, it's like if you're if you're in a supermarket, maybe, and you're single. If you're only if you're single, um, if you're in a supermarket or something, just um, look a little bit, a few seconds longer at the person that you might be interested in. Um, you know, as you're shopping. Um, smile, you know, make it, a, and it, uh, it's like the person that you like, sorry, <laughs> my, 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 um, my lamp is a little bit dodgy. <laughs> um, yeah. So sometimes it's like, um, we just have to make it very clear that you like who you like, you know? Um, so I think that's the time out there. If you're just looking for a friend again, smile um make conversation just uh yeah so i think that's going to be the idea for capricorns and for whoever's watching this okay let's see what else they want to tell you capricorns Okay, so this is the 9th through to the 15th of October. Okay, so emotionally, don't be surprised if you're not kind of like 
it's like feeling as if you want to isolate yourself or pull away from um, certain people in your life. Um, now, this has been happening for some time, and I know I've been probably saying this um, in a lot of the other readings I've been doing, but um, that is, you know, sometimes it's a global thing. Sorry, my heat pads just burnt my... <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes it's a, it's a global thing, and we're all going to be going through a certain process of letting go of the old ready for the new. Um, because if you're wasting a lot of time and energy kind of moaning about that friend of yours who doesn't quite understand you or maybe, you know, your partner, you're just arguing all the time and you just don't seem to be seen eye to eye. Or maybe there's a, somebody at work who just, you know, just can't bear to be around. It's, it might be time that you're going to go, do you know what, I'm going to maybe not talk as much to that work colleague. I'm just going to kind of pull away a little bit and not get into, you know, too much uh, deep conversations, just maybe talk about the weather and just be busy, okay? Um, so, yeah, there's something going on there, okay, this week, start starting at the beginning of the week. This is a spiritual thing. This is not um, a hateful thing at all. It's a spiritual thing because it is saying that, you know, um, I need to find my tribe. I need to find my spiritual tribe um, and this is very important to you at this time okay let's have a look and see what else we've got okay because as other people kind of you know drift out of our life you're leaving uh, you're leaving energy and openness for someone else to drift in aren't you you're you're saying well yeah um I've got time and energy to meet new people um, and that could be friendships, that could be relationships or that could be, you know, um, maybe finding a new job. Whatever it is, is definitely kind of there's a there's a calling inside you to uh, to change things up. Um, I'm seeing study as well. So I feel as if you may be wanting to learn new skills, um, get yourself kind of out there regarding you know, if you're single and you want to be kind of dating. In fact, I've actually put on the bottom of here, <laughs> there's a new, there, well, it's, an, it's new, but it's, it's not new. Um, so it's a dating or friendship site. It's free to join at the moment. Um, it's in 5D. So our in 5D family, if you want to get talking to each other, in 5D.club, okay? In 5D.club. Okay, and just um, just to say thank you and lots of love to all my Patreons that are going down at the bottom there. I um, just want to say thank you to all of you guys. You help me do these videos, um, the free ones that I'm doing and a lot of the, the lives that I do. So I just wanted to say thank you to each one of you. Thank you. Okay. Yes. So I feel as if there might be a bit of spiciness coming in around the middle of the week um, because this feels as if I'm feeling a little bit kind of saucy or sassy kind of energy um, when I'm tuning into Capricorns. Um, now, that can come out as being having a bit of a sense of humor, wanting a bit of a, a bit of a laugh, um, or it can be kind of like a flirtatious energy, making that move, maybe, um, you know, um, asking somebody, you know, I would, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't say no if you wanted to go out for a meal or if you, you wanted to go out and, and watch a film, I, I would be quite okay with that. You know, sometimes we're waiting, waiting, waiting for someone else to make that move when sometimes we have to do the first, first energy. Um, so, um, obviously, I'm perfectly happy with my beautiful man. Um, but uh, this is this is this is like a feeling that I get when I tune into the Capricorn energy, and it's like you know um, there's a need to um, push yourself further, push yourself out there um, in life, okay? Because I've got the flirtatious energy, we've also got the saucy energy as well, and we have then education. So sometimes we can meet new people in groups, okay? You know, sometimes where we're studying you know we might be going to um a different you know like um an actual physical place rather than it being online um to study um and learn new things and these people are obviously like-minded to you 
because they're studying the same thing as you so but i do feel as if it's like if you don't try then what else you know you know it's like sometimes we have to meet the universe halfway it's no good sitting there going i haven't met the person i haven't met the person well have you been out there have you done anything have you changed your life in any way if you keep doing the same 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 thing um there's stagnant energy but if you jazz it up and start to <clears throat> really start to get out there um, then the universe can do something with that the universe can make that person bump into you at certain places either maybe sometimes going to your study or the person who's studying will be at that group or whatever so i do feel as if love is in the air um as we as we look at these cards see so look at them okay so friendships or more okay um yeah so I feel that there is, at the end of the week, there's going to be a bit of a change to do with money. And I feel as if you've got to rearrange things. Um, there seems to be, they're talking about one person with maybe a standing order or something that needs to be re, uh, that needs to be changed, needs to be changed either up or down, um, needs to be adjusted. So just remember I said that to you. And if you can think of a reason why that would be, um, then you're welcome. But uh, there is some somebody out there that needs to so there you go capricorns that is for you okay okay so this is scorpio's reading <clears throat> okay so i'm going to use the enlightenment deck by chuck spizzano okay so let's have a look and see what these cards want to say okay just gonna concentrate on scorpio Okay, so Scorpio, is this how you're feeling? <laughs> you can see it's like there's a slope, it's uphill. He's got a huge bag um, or baggage um, on his back and there's somebody in the background kind of waving him on. Okay, so do you feel as if you are the one that's doing all the heavy lifting in a relationship? Um, is it that you are trying to get some help? Um, maybe it's to do with, you know, family. Family um, should be doing more to help you or you feel as though, you know, you need that. Uh, sometimes things can be a little bit too overwhelming at times um, for us. This card underneath says sacrifice. No, it feels guilt. No, this is the guilt card. So sometimes we do too much we overdo things um in the name of guilt because we feel guilty about something or we feel as if well this is what i'm supposed to do you know well i'm not doing that so i've got to do this you know this is my job this is what is expected of me um but it's all becoming a little bit overwhelming okay so sometimes it's time to speak out about that okay yeah so let's have a look at the rest now it's for scorpio so this is the 9th to the 15th of October, 2023. Or whoever's listening to this, it will relate to you. Okay, so there's a lot of love around and I feel a celebration kind of energy around you. Um, I'm sensing kind of a light-hearted feel um, where there's been a lot of um, gratitude energy. There's been a lot of understanding, okay? Now, this is what I said in the beginning, which is feeling a little bit um, overwhelmed, maybe in one area of your life, but maybe not all areas. It could be that you're feeling overwhelmed um, and maybe taken for granted at work, but your personal life's good or your personal life is overwhelming while your work life is good. So sometimes there can be a little bit of kind of different, it's like different feelings in different um, different areas of your life there. Um, there is a, um, a person I'm seeing around who is very like a young energy, young person. You know, there seems to be a lot of kind of, it's like immaturity or a heavy kind of energy, heavy feel, okay, around 
um, around them and you're in need of being there for them. You may even be this person who is feeling a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit kind of, you know, there's so much going on and I don't know how I'm coping, okay? Um, so either way, you're dealing with that kind of energy there. Um, the Hermit card says that sometimes we have to go within. Um, maybe we're being too busy, busy here, busy there, busy there, and we haven't quite caught up with the rhythm of life um, or the rhythm of getting organized and making us feel as if, you know, we are not keeping up with things. But that's because we've been too much outside and not enough inside or too much you know, um, commitments and busyness and not enough um, of, of, you know, your alone time. So there's something that needs to be balanced. And I feel that that is going to be the concentration of the beginning of your week. OK, so by the middle of your week, middle of your week, it's like I'm seeing you studying or looking into maybe different ways to earn money, different ways to maybe start a business or advertise your existing business or bring in some money somehow. It's like, well, I've always been good at that, so why don't I try that? Or, you know, maybe I could pay less um, le less there so that I'm going to be more able to have more money there. So it can be just rearranging your finances um, and looking into things, maybe doing the incoming and outgoing, and then the realisation that, oh, my goodness, that I didn't realise was kind of the thing that was really topping me topping me over the edge so if I don't do that then this will be fine and um, so sometimes there is um, a masculine energy around you and you feel as though you are having to tippy toe around their feelings now maybe their feelings is um, it's, it's like they're not um, meeting you halfway um, when you're trying to communicate or talk to them and I do feel as if this may be um, something that you're going to be addressing around the middle of next week. Okay, the middle of next week. Um, and I feel as if, if, I, if it's, there's a conversation about studying, and sometimes that studying or, you know, putting some more energy into maybe a new business, sometimes it means we've got to add money into it. Sometimes we've got to um, kind of devote that little bit more energy. And maybe somebody around you doesn't want you to or is feeling as if well what's the point of that why would you do that when um that's not bringing in enough money or but it's like well if i did um it might bring in more money so yeah i feel as if there is a com conversation back and forth to do with energy to do with money and to do with effort okay so <clears throat> isn't it funny i get a card in my head um, that hasn't actually arrived yet out of the pack and uh, and it then I then turn it over <laughs> afterwards so it's juggling money um, and that's what I was seeing juggling money okay I just love it I love I love the tarot um, so there's an independence energy so it's like well if they won't support me then I'm going to do it on my own or you know if I'm not going to get help there then I'll just do this so I feel as if it's like plan A then plan B and even a plan C, okay? Um, we're delving into things, and I'm seeing that we are kind of, um, it's like planting new seeds, okay? Ready that ready that they're going to be harvesting um, soon. So you are absolutely prepared to, whatever you are studying or learning, that that is going to be something that's going to benefit you and maybe benefit your family if, if you're living with others. Um, um, in the future so it's like investing time and energy um, and uh, being that kind of very positive um, very you know m matter of fact okay that that kind of feeling is really going to go far it's going to make you feel very much more um, organized in your mind and able to completely fly okay that's what this feels like um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful energy um, that I'm seeing for um, for Scorpios because it's about change. It's about taking control. It's about realizing kind of what areas need to have more energy shifted into them and what energy is seeping out or draining us in some way. 
okay and well that's no good because it's making me feel like this so i need to be here or do this so yeah there's a lot of balance there okay i see with scorpios so there you go that's what i see for you guys also that's my daughter rhiannon so i love you rhiannon okay so this is pisces reading the 9th through to the 15th of october 2023 so let's have a look and see what they want to tell you well, that one wanted a turnover all right so this is about writing your book of your life so this may be literal for some people um, that you're actually going to start a book or you're going to start writing um, for others it will be that maybe it's like I've got to leave the past in the past okay and maybe I want to look at my future maybe I want to see the happy ever after rather than the you know what about this what about that okay and this card as well flicked out as well um, so you can see that this is the, this is where we are signaling out to the universe that uh, we know what we want now, okay? And um, manifest, you know, just get manifesting, you know? What do you deserve? And when you get that into your head and you realize that, yes, I do deserve a um, lot more than I've got, and uh, just expect it then to happen. Just expect it to roll in, okay? So this is for my mum. Um, hello, Mama. And this is for me as well. I'm Pisces. Okay. So let's see. Right. So a lot of strength. Um, the strength of character within you is going to really start to roar um, at the beginning of the week. And you're starting to see the um the future that you want opening up in front of you you're starting to be more determined you're starting to be more um proactive i feel with you know with with your um this is what i'm doing okay um you're not you're not holding back you're not saying you know i'll perhaps i'll do it later or you know maybe it's it's not the right time right now so you're going yet yeah, no this is it this is my future I mean, look at that card for determination. And I know my mum watching this will go, that's my card that says I can see clearly now the rain has gone. And she will sing it. Um, so, yeah, so she reads the tarot cards as well. Don't you, mama? So there is um, a lot of emotions here. And these emotions, I'm feeling a bit tormented. I'm feeling a little bit kind of overwhelmed with my emotions. And I'm trying to please everybody. Um, I'm trying to, this is, so it's like, what do I do? You know, sometimes I have to say, I need to think of me and I need to think of my energy. And it's not always about putting other people ahead of my needs. Sometimes it's about saying, no, I've, I know what I have to do. But this is going to take a lot of guts. It's going to take a lot of um, inner power and inner strength, actually, um, in order to do it. Because um, it's not your usual way. Okay, so let's see what else we got. Okay, so you're learning to trust. You're learning to trust your own intuition. You're learning to trust what um, is the right thing for you. And you're also trusting what you're picking up around certain people. So there may be that you meet new people and you start to pick up that maybe this person has got a different um a different energy about them you know and you think i i know that there's something wrong do you want to talk to me about it so you know you're starting to trust that a lot more meeting somebody of real significance in your life around the middle of next week um when you meet this person you start to feel that kind of pull to them it's like well i don't know i i know you i don't know how i know you but i do um, and this is going to feel really strong. Um, this is going to give you lots of ideas about, you know, your future. And also maybe you're going to have a vision about your past life. 
this is where you knew this person this is why they are so familiar to you okay there are boundaries up around you and maybe this person and it could be because it's also very new but that doesn't mean to say that things aren't or couldn't change in the future and um, there be more um, interaction with this person because the universe sometimes you bump into a complete stranger once and then you'll find that they keep bumping into you or you into them okay and uh, that is actually pretty um pretty funny it's like uh, here you are again oh and and here you are again you know so the universe will keep doing this if it's meant to be so watch out for it be open to it okay so this could be a friendship or it could be something um more you know stronger it could be a relationship for some people um, there's lots of downloads or information that's going to be coming at you around the middle of next week and this is to do with your future and what it is that you um, are lacking or what you what you need and want um, and this is going to start to um, build up confidence within you um, for you to actually go and get what it is that you want okay so I'm seeing for some of you there's going to be a new job new money new job or promotion because I'm seeing you stepping out there from the shadows and actually re rebuilding things um you know really picking up pace okay that's, that's what it feels like and uh, you're going to start to feel very proud of yourself uh, very much you know well i know where i'm going now um i was a bit lost at one point or thought this was not going to happen and then bam here it is um, but those ideas are going to keep coming and going to keep flowing into your life. Um, it's like they're going to be helping you, your spirit guides, loved ones, they're going to be helping you to direct where it is you're needing to go or wanting to go. The boundaries card says to me that um, with new people coming into your life, sometimes you're not sure and there's a little bit of wariness, okay, in your heart. You know, it's like, well, I'm not going to let them into my heart just in case. I'm not going to let them into my heart. Um, so, yeah, that's a little bit kind of awkward, okay, um, uh, you know, at this particular stage because you may have to be around this person and, you know, still feel like that. Okay. Um, the end of the week... Um, End of, end of the week, I'm seeing a bit of a spend up. I'm seeing um, a bit more money than normal being spent um, from your um, from your pocket, this is. and uh, But it does feel as if it's something nice. Um, it feels as if I'm going somewhere new. I'm going somewhere that I haven't been um, before. You know, this is what I wanted to do. This is a, this is a good, good feeling, okay? So, it's like you're treating yourself to somewhere or going so either going somewhere or or um, experiencing something. And it's like this is this is what I've wanted. And so I'm going to do it. But uh, yeah, you are treating yourself for sure. Yeah. So there you go. That's what I see for Pisces. Hi. So this is for Cancerians out there, and this will be the 9th through to the 15th of October 2023, or to whoever is watching this right now. There'll be some messages in there for you. Okay, so this is for my lovely daughter, Megan, and, uh, and all you Cancerians out there. Okay, so I'm just going to concentrate and see what they want to say. Okay, so emotionally, emotionally, sometimes it's good to have a vision of where you want your life to be um, in advance. So have a one-year plan, a three-year plan, a five-year plan. Um, this way, the universe can get more organized with your wishes for the future. Because if you're thinking kind of moment to moment, um, you know, sometimes it's going to take a lot longer to actually reach that goal that you want to re to to reach that um, the pinnacle of happiness um, that you have visioned for yourself and don't hold back you know um, sometimes we have to wait a little bit longer um, than you know than usual just in case it is um, 
you know a big thing so if it's a big thing we have to be patient that's why we need to kind of put our order in put our cosmic order in now you know and uh, we are then ready so remember um, a now plan or very near future plan one year plan three year plan five year plan okay for sure okay so cancerians let's see what's going to happen um between the 9th and the 16th of october 2023 okay so emotionally there's a little bit of um detaching it's like i feel that i need to detach myself from the people that i love or people that have been around me for some reason it's like i'm not feeling as if my energy is a good thing to you know i don't want to be vulnerable around certain people i think that's what i'm getting at here um and uh, therefore i've got my guard up okay now it could be that you say well i've got my guard up most of the time but there are times that it is more um up than others and this will be one of those i feel as if i've still got the smile on the outside and ev nobody would really know apart from you would know okay so um sometimes that can be you know confusion about things sometimes that is just the way it is and maybe you just get used to this type of feeling every now and again um maybe that that is how it is we've got the temperance card you see which is about balance it's your way of getting into balance into alignment there um there is a person around you at this particular time around the beginning of next week who is smiley um it's a piscean card so it could be a pisces or it could be somebody who tends to put a smile on no matter what they tend to hide behind um their kind of smiles and happiness when sometimes they might not be feeling it as much um, but they don't really like letting other people um, down okay so they, they tend to keep smiling away and that particular person is going to be around you or in your life or there may be a reason why they're coming up in your reading um, at the beginning of next week okay so we've got the you know saying to the universe well come on then universe bring it um, bring it to me because I'm ready I'm ready for a challenge I'm ready for something that you want me to do um, I feel as if I want to push myself um, into my future and uh, start really enjoying my life and not worrying about the tomorrows okay um, but sometimes that's harder to do than um, than it really seems to be now remember cancerians it's the hard outer shell protecting that vulnerability and sometimes we don't like to show our vulnerability sometimes we like to show the fact that we can be tough and i, I feel as if it's fluctuating between that tough energy and the feeling insecure um having to stand up for ourselves and then having to be soft uh, as well um so yeah you have got a plan though about what you want to do um and maybe um so like what you want to experience and i feel that it's going to take a lot of courage and strength for you to actually get this motivated and started um but there is it, it does feel as if it's time it's time now that could be starting a new course whether that's online or face to face or that could be um starting a hobby or getting a hobby um up and ready and uh, and moving but either way it's definitely movement cards I've got seven of wands, four of wands, and the five of swords. Okay. Juggling of money, juggling of money, juggling of finances, um, getting everything organized. So I feel as if there's a little bit extra money coming to you, um, something that you haven't been expecting, but now it is getting a lot easier. So it's like I can put a sigh of relief out there, um, which is, you know, so good, okay, after it being quite tense. Um, there has been, um, it's like progress within a, um, 
it feels as if it's a legal battle or official battle um, linking to paperwork. And it's like, I have been let down, but now it is. it seems to be all coming into place. Um, and everything seems to be a lot easier, a lot better. Okay, so there you go. That is what I see for uh, Cancerians. Okay, oh, they've told me that I need to pick another couple of these cards. So I've got to do as I've told. So there we go. So abundance, see, there we go. You know, if I was if I was unsure whether or not abundance was coming, then it's just giving it to me again. So this is where more money's coming in than going out. So this means that financially things are a lot better than you once thought. Okay, so that's very, very good. Okay, so lots of love, lots of love to my daughter, Maggie, and lots of love to you guys out there. Okay, so this will be the, the last three, um, which will be Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. Okay, so this is for the Aquarius people out there. Okay, so I think my son-in-law, uh, Craig, is um, Aquarius. So this is, for, this is for him. Okay, so I'm just going to concentrate, see what emotional cards they want to want to pull for you this one okay so it's about inspiration um it's about inspiring uh, not only yourself but inspiring other people um to expect better to expect more um so sometimes i feel that there is um lessons that we that we start to um start to learn um these lessons are little things that come up during the day that we think hold on a minute that was a bit too much of a coincidence for it not to be a lesson um so watch out for those because i think they'll be going to be coming um very very quick you're also going to be seeing that you are creating abundance so it could be that one minute you're saying i don't know i've broken i've broken my you know my irons broke in the morning and um, you think, oh, I could go and buy a new one. Oh, I haven't got the money. I can't really afford a new iron. Um, and then later on in the day, you, you're driving past and there's a um, like a, a, a garage sale and uh, in someone's garage, someone's yard, yard sale. And uh, you're seeing this iron and it's exactly the amount of money you have in your pocket, which is affordable. Um, and so that's how the universe works. It's very, very subtle sometimes um, if you're not looking for it, if you're not expecting it. But definitely to expect some things and to realize that you are an inspiration to other people. Other people learn from you. OK. And also you're an inspiration to the members of your family. Um, if you have children to children, children are learning through you, through your behavior as well which is which is just so sweet so lovely okay so let's see what the other cards want to say okay so all right so there's been times where we have kind of withdrawn into ourselves and maybe not spoken out or wanted to speak out maybe we've wanted to keep our emotions kind of in um but i feel as if there has been um or very soon will be a very much a celebration time um it's like well done congratulations um you know i'm so happy for you that's amazing so look we have the six of wands which is my triumph card okay it's like noticeable somebody has noticed how well you have done and is giving you a compliment there seems to be a bit of a, a secrecy energy around maybe the celebration um that there was a bit of isolation or emotional upset um we have the five of cups there um which is um is kind of still around this secretive energy and regarding you know not 
maybe revealing too much about this personal um, issue or personal life, um, you are kind of still processing, I feel, in a very big way. You're processing things. Okay, so I'm seeing that you are standing up for yourself as well it's like I'm not going to take that anymore I'm not going to um, allow you or anybody to make me feel like I am um, not worthy of um, you know you listening to me and and me having an opinion okay so I really feel as if you are being quite stubborn the middle of next week um, and there is a right to be so okay there really really is um, I see here that you have a job offer or a chance to kind of change your job or maybe there seems to be promotion or extra responsibilities around a job, okay, that you are, you know, getting on with. This could be that there is an extra job, you know, like um, extra work or something that you can fit in around whatever you're doing, something that you enjoy doing as well. But I do feel as if there's an, some extra money okay being kind of um waved around there um i'm seeing new keys okay to a property and maybe this job or this opportunity is coming up that is around a property um there so it could be a little bit of both um i'm seeing there it's like weighing up the pros and the cons to do with this job or this offer here um i'm definitely going to stand up for myself though i'm not going to have anybody criticize me okay regarding that i've got three brilliant cards again they're a little bit different to what i've had with virgos but they're still brilliant okay so these cards don't come up very often they really don't okay and when they do there's usually something massive okay like a change in your fortune a change in your luck a change in you know your ability to earn money really okay so i'm going to show you the world this is the one of the best cards in the deck the world and the sun two of the best cards okay the world means things turning out better than you could have ever imagined the new beginnings card otherwise known as something else um but this always means to me new beginnings it means a change of life it means that things will never be the same again after this large amount of money comes into your life. This opportunity, this uh, a means of earning, okay? So this could be the most brilliant job that you could have wanted that fits in perfectly with what it is that you're, yeah. Or it can mean um, a lump sum of money. Or it can mean that, you know, this is amazing. You know, you were earning this and now you're earning that. So there's something massive on its way. I want to say that it will be by the end of next week. Um, but, it you know, sometimes these things, when they're big things, like this is a big thing, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Um, but don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. I would get into the habit of expecting it. And so if it doesn't happen quickly, just expect it's going to because it is. OK, so they are brilliant cards. And like I said, in my um, 35 years of reading the cards, these cards do not come up very often. Maybe two of them together, but not the three of them. OK, the three of them is and it's happened twice tonight. So this could very well be a global thing. But I do feel as if it's got definite um positive energy really positive energy so i'm excited for my son-in-law as well he's aquarius so any other aquarius out there so there you go let's see what's going on with the others okay this is gemini okay let's have a look to see what the emotional cards want to say okay Here we go. Right, so higher mind. Okay, so they're giving you a compliment here. They're saying that you have been rising above issues. You have been doing a lot better, okay, at dealing with things as they go along. So, you know, where once you would have tripped and fallen, 
now you're kind of tripping and, and being able to stand up and say, I can do this. I can get through this. This is okay. So, you know, sometimes we have to find our own pathway and sometimes we need spirit to help us. Um, so look at that. That's like that's like flying with your higher self and flying with your angels. Um, I feel as if I need to have another one as well. There you go. Joy. OK, so find your own joy, however that is, whatever that is, you know, find a way of bringing yourself into that heart heart energy the heart vibrational energy um so so important right now and um congratulations with how well you're doing okay so let's have a look and see what else they want to tell you okay so i'm just going to tune in now so this is the 9th through to the 15th of october Okay, so, so there's something linked with home and something it's like a job that I have to do. I don't know how or why, but I need, know I need to sort it out. I feel as if I need to get into a rhythm. I need to get my time sorted out. There's something to do with time or timings. They're talking to me about this. They're also looking at creative ways of earning extra money. And I feel as if you are delving into that with the Eight of Pentacles, looking into things in more detail. It's like, well, maybe that could be a way forward. Or, you know, I've always been good at that, so I could do that too. Um, so, and this is around the home. So it's the Hermit card. So this is probably working from home or working you know it's like um the home card usually means private jobs does that make sense jobs that aren't necessarily working for an employer or going having to go to work does that make sense committed to work it could be working from home okay and the most sarcastic card in the deck which means you know you've got to do it so why are you why are you avoiding it it's like you know sometimes we can't uh, we can't have we can't wait you know we can't we can't wait we've just got to do it okay let's just got to get on with it okay so let's have a look um at the middle of the week all right so the middle of the week right so there's going to be um oh there's a bit of a a good energy around money so it's like you're going to have it's like being offered um a good opportunity money wise um because i'm seeing an interview or a meeting <clears throat> and it's like i'm feeling as if i'm going to be financially better off um that um, i'm going to have to juggle my money around i'm going to have to juggle things around i'm going to have to do this and do that but at the end of the day this all looks good so it's like you know all i've just got to do is be a little bit you know it's like being clever um and resourceful regarding money okay um but this meeting is going to go very well um, and the financial card, the Ten of Pentacles, you know, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles is the, it's time for me and and to have the money for me, um, for money to come in or some help to come into me, into my energy. So this isn't about kind of being polite and holding back. This is about, you know, pushing on forward. Okay. This is really, really positive for the middle of the week for you guys. Gemini's <clears throat> okay <laughs> and then you go and get the world card so now the world card indicates things turning out better than you realize so maybe you had a low kind of feeling a low energy about it you know maybe maybe this is um like saying to you you no longer have to do that you no longer have to um think you know things are going to go wrong. So why do I want to think positively? Because I, I think positively and then nothing happens. And and that's a cycle. Does that mean it's a cycle of energy um, that keeps going down? It's like you're not giving it chance to root or to blossom. Okay. So obviously, if we're thinking like that, of course, you're going to get what you expect to get. Um, and so we don't realize how powerful we are and how much we can really make things happen in a good way and in a bad way um we can 
So if there is any depression or low energy, see if you can't talk yourself round into kind of faking it till you make it kind of energy. Just, um, you know, trust in the ability. Because look, that's what happens if you do. You've got the world card, which is things turning out better than you realise. So this has got the potential to be a very good week um, for you, um, especially financially. Very good work week um, there, Gemini's. Okay, so we've got one more left. We've got Libra next. Okay. So, so this is for Libras, okay, for the 9th through to the 15th of October, 2023. My gorgeous, sexy husband is, um, is it Libra? Tip triple Libra, actually. Um, I've got Libra rising, and so this is for me as well. So um, let's delve in. Let's have a look, see what they want to tell us, okay? So it is uh, not his birthday week, but the week after that is his birthday, the 19th. So let me have a little look into the emotional side of things. Okay. Peace. Peace and tranquility. Um, there has been um, a very much a, it's like, it's not down in the dumps and it's not overly excitable. It's a peace and tranquility. It's like a trust that has fallen over your life. Um, and it's going to go into the next week as well. So it's like a high vibrational piece. So it's not like just a, oh, just get on with it, really. I don't really, it's not that. It's a high vibrational energy of like a knowing, well, it's all going to work out fine because I've ordered it and all I've got to do is just keep on a high vibrational energy. That's all I've got to do. Um, make sure I don't blow things out of proportion. So look at the little dog there. And look at the shadow okay so sometimes we can over exaggerate things or you know um it's like panic about things you know looking into everything in a in a kind of heavy way and say you know this doesn't meet up this doesn't meet up but then it's like we forget that we can actually manifest the rest you know whatever's whatever we need so financially you're very very capable libras um, very capable of getting what it is that you want and manifesting the rest. Okay, so let me give these a good shuffle and let's see what else we've got. This is the last of the readings um, for this week. So, so I'm sorry I'm, I'm late. Libra. 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 Okay, so this can make you feel sometimes like I've got to go within and learn some emotional lessons. What is going on with me? And you come out with sunshine, gratitude. So sometimes we have to think about, you know, all the things that we are, we are manifesting towards us um, and that positivity that goes with it. So it's like that gratitude, people being grateful for what it is that you do, people making you feel as though, you know, everything is fine. Everything is good. You know, look, we're going to help you. So um, there's a lot of people out there who just want to look after you, just want to make sure you're OK. <clears throat> so I do feel as if there's been a bit of worry around health. OK. Um, this is wrapping up in cotton wool. So it feels as if you have to be sensible. You have to look after yourself. OK. And um, there is we I know exactly what what that is saying. OK. Um, Greg and I have um, made a decision about not going abroad when he gets over here. We're going to go on little holidays here in England um, because there's another flight for his heart when his heart is not looking great. Um, he's had some tests done. So just wanted to put that out there because people do wonder what this is about. So I know what this means for, for Greg. What does it mean to you guys the beginning of next week? OK, Libras. OK, so looking after yourself, wrapping up, making sure you're OK or looking after someone else. This can mean, um, you know, a project to do with well-being. 
or fitness or changing diets or changing energy okay but it's all to do with well-being it's very good well-being though because you've got the sun card which does mean that things working out really well i mean sunshine it makes us feel joy okay joy and happiness and then here you've got that isolation emotionally you know where we're kind of just a little bit concerned or we're we're just having to have a look and make sure that um everything is okay <clears throat> you know just being careful um there so the middle of next week for libras okay i'm seeing some plans um i'm seeing some paperwork filling out documents and paperwork um i'm seeing a pisces character <laughs> coming into your life we do have the pisces fish card there okay um but this can be somebody who is flirtatious somebody who's um they can be bubbly they can be very scatty though um they can um be forgetful okay so this particular person is going to be around you and maybe there are some plans that are being made linked around um a person who is of that nature um there is um being careful and um, there is somebody who is being a little bit more distant with you or there's a feeling of you know things being um it's like i've got to watch out for this or i need to make sure that that person doesn't feel rejected or that person doesn't feel as if they are not included or you know i need to make sure so it's all about making sure other the people are okay um and you know double checking things so i feel that there may be some um some issues or a need to get things off your chest or or talk things over with somebody um somebody um maybe not necessarily one person it could be um to do with a group of other people okay so this is the end of the week end of the week this is somebody who um they like the sound of their own voice so ignore the fact this is male could be female like a masculine female energy um but this person can be very very vocal about what it is that they feel what it is that they say um they can really get things um going and i feel that this is very very important okay um this is a, a feeling of being a bit um selfish it's like i've got to be selfish here or this person and is telling you you've got to be selfish you've got to think of yourself you've got to plan um so this person is kind of bending your ear a little bit because i feel as if there's a bit of nagging um going on okay um and this means that you just have to have the strength sometimes um to not take on other people's anxiety worry or that kind of um heaviness okay so um you're being careful with that um, now, this to me feels feels like there's a person being a bit emotional around you, somebody who's got sensitivity. And this sensitivity is about um, you maybe going abroad or going on holiday. I said about nagging, and this is my nagging card, the nine of swords. And this nagging could be from people who love you and you and um, really want you to be well, okay? there's a spiritual um lesson okay that you're going to be learning okay at this time this lesson is very important um to you and around you it's regarding home or where you live um and they are saying there's going to have to be a dealing with it time um coming up and um they're talking about learning and studying and teaching okay um or spirit are teaching you or have been teaching you or trying to teach you um um you know things or information okay sometimes we have to look look at the little patterns okay in our lives um and see what it's trying to say so there you go guys um that's what i get for um today and for all of the other signs for you I'm sorry I didn't do it live. There just wasn't time. And um, yeah, but I'm, I wanted to make sure I got it out there, even though I'm a day late. So anyway, um, take care. If anybody does want a reading, there is only a few days. I think there was about eight 
working days before Greg gets here. Um, and I'm going to be having some time off to be with him. So um, if you do want a reading with me, then please go to um, psychicalley.net um, to book a reading. Um, and uh, yeah, um, I do one-to-one -one psychic development. Um, there's also going to be some changes to my Patreon. And also, Greg's. we were talking about our Patreon pages, so watch out for that. There's going to be some changes. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll, um, I'll let you guys know um, further on. Yeah, so... Anyway, take care, everyone, and um, thank you for supporting me and Greg, um, just with your love, and thanks for sharing um, our videos. It means an awful lot. Um, so, anyway, take care. <laughs>